Hi everyone, this reading is with me, <laughs> Moonlight Guidance. I hope you are doing well. This is for all star signs. So if you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you. Also, if you wanted to purchase any personal services with me, they're always listed down below and on shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's thousands of five star reviews on the intention items, uh, which are handmade, meditated with, and sage. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom poms, tassels, sage bundles, candles, teas, etc. Um, and the review section is at the bottom of my website. There's also the tarot readings and also the rituals as well, which thousands of people have seen results with, you know, for different areas of their life. There's black magic removal, protection ritual, rituals for love, money, success, marriage, career, healing, etc. <laughs> so it's all literally there. All right. So I hope you are doing well. If not, I really, really hope that I can help you. Okay. So let's see what is coming through in your life. I feel like some of you have been feeling that things are rather stagnant in your life right now. You're feeling optimistic, I will say. You're feeling hopeful. You're feeling like, you know what, it's not the end of the world. Um, the apocalypse is not here. Uh, you know, you're, you're trying. I don't think that you're completely sort of thinking like nothing's ever going to happen. I think that, you know, you have been hard done in certain situations. You've felt like, oh, you know, I've tried for that and it didn't work out. And you just feel you feel tired, um, you feel a bit drained, but you're still hopeful, you still have that optimism, and I think that that optimism is carrying you, and I think it's one of the most beautiful things, because I know that you've been hurt, I know that you have been hard done, I know that you feel sometimes like it, you know, you feel sometimes in two minds, like, oh, maybe it won't really happen, but that little bit of positivity is brilliant, I commend you for that, because it's not difficult, you know, it's not, um, it's not easy after what you've been through, but that little bit of positivity helps you, okay? It really, really helps you. Um, so yeah, you felt like things are stagnant. Um, what's really beautiful here actually is that I feel like there has been somebody quite stagnant towards you, okay? This hanged man energy, should we just look at this card? Do we see something a little bit similar? Okay, you felt like things are stagnant because somebody here towards you is being stagnant. So this energy represents sort of your energy but also another person's energy a person romantically towards you has also been stagnant which has made you feel stagnant in your life in in terms of romance okay so this is like a double sort of energy but when you look at the six of cups that person's dressed very similarly are they not so basically someone here has also been stagnant towards you romantically and it's made you feel stagnant the thing that i see here is that the six of cups shows that you know you felt frustrated romantically in your life and i feel like this person who was not doing as much towards you there's not really been much movement there's a lot of progress that's going to come through okay um the king of wands shows that you're going to be pursued romantically. Things are going to come together for you romantically. This person is going to show you that they want you. They will tell you that they want you. And they will prove to themselves and you that they want you, okay? Through their words and actions and consistency. King of wands is so powerful when it comes to making something happen. Showing you a result, okay? Which means that this person is going to show you that they want you. They will tell you that they like you and love you and care about you. And they will take you on dates, okay? They will take you here, take you there, tell you, oh, I had a really great time today, let's meet again. And then actually following up on what they've said to you and initiating another meeting, okay? Then we've also got the Hierophant as well, okay? This person feels attracted towards you. This person feels so, so connected to you. This is unexpected because again, you feel stagnant. You feel like, no, nothing really gonna happen, but oh, I'm, I'm still hopeful. And then boom, this person comes in. They want to take you on dates. They want to go places. They want to do things. They want to build. They want to have something um, solid. You know, this is not someone that love bombs you. This is someone that really is consistent in their actions and their words. And it gives you peace. It gives you peace. It gives you peace of mind. Not you thinking, are they going to respond? Are they going to respond? Do they like me? Do they care about me? I wonder if suddenly they don't like me anymore. I wonder if they feel anything. No, no, no. You will just not think that way because they will step by step be consistent, okay? They will be consistent and that will make you feel good. 
<laughs> okay, so that's really, really lovely to see here. And it's unexpected. It really is. Yeah. See, the thing here is that for as long as you wait for it to happen, you will just be waiting. Okay. You will just be waiting because you're in that mindset. Don't wait. Get on with other things in your life. Love life. Take care of yourself. Take yourself on a walk. Listen to some music. Watch a film. Watch a TV show. Do something for yourself. Okay. Because not always does everything happen when you are waiting. It's different when you're waiting and something's mutual. Like for example, if you have an appointment and you know, you know you're going to be seen or if you're going to a checkout and you have to wait in line, like of course you're going to be seen. It's mutual, right? But in situations where you're waiting for something and it's not exactly mutual, don't wait in those circumstances, okay? Very, very important. Instead, do you raise your vibrational energy and that will trigger okay, everything else to sort of come into line for you, that's actually how the law of attraction works, law of attraction works with detachment, okay, um, it's a key, it is the key, so basically, I also see money coming your way, I also see love, again, it will happen unexpectedly, wheel of fortune is abundance, your life is going to change, okay, this is the card of change, it will not be like this forever, although this is a beautiful, like, spiritual, peaceful card, you will have peace, you will feel good within yourself, but you will not feel stagnant, okay, you won't feel like, oh, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, the clock's dead, no, 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 the battery gets changed, you know, um, there's movement, okay, unless it's one of those, um, like, watches where you, like, shake it and then it moves, you know, like, the movement's happening, the movement's going to happen, but um, also unexpected money is going to come your way, which I think is amazing. There could be a promotion or just unexpected money that comes your way as well. Um, obviously, that creates change, right? Because it creates more stability. I can see the card. You know, I feel like when you see the card, you can't unsee it. So we'll take that card. Um, but yeah, King of Cups, a lot more emotional fulfillment is coming your way. You feel, you know, you will feel nourished. You will feel very, very happy. Um, and again, this is the card here that really represents more financial stability, more money is coming your way. Um, basically, love and money in combination are rising, are going to rise in your life, especially if you've been wondering like, oh, you know what, I'm just not gaining more money. I'm, you know, that area of my life is a little bit more stagnant. It's not really gaining momentum. Um, it's going to happen, you know, it really is going to happen. I also do actually offer the money ritual as well, if anyone is interested in that. It creates healing in your energy, um, especially for those of you, you know, that are constantly working, 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 you feel burnt out sometimes, you're in environments that are not good for you. Um, that ritual really can help as well to create healing in your energy, which can also trigger, you know, more money to come your way as well. So um, there is that ritual on my website, but I know a lot of people have seen results with it, which is amazing. So if you're really struggling with that, you know, it's hard sometimes in a work environment to detach, right? It is because you're, you're in that energy and you're absorbing other people's energy and it can be really difficult. So, um, I would really recommend that ritual. Uh, no pressure, of course. <laughs> I just wanted to mention that, but money is uh, going to flourish and here it is. Okay. This is the big change. Um, this is about your stars aligning. Okay. The star card really shows the stars aligning. It shows healing. It shows a little bit more peace within yourself, that little bit of optimism you have, keep it, okay, keep it, let's not throw it in the bin, let's not throw it away, uh, or put it over there, keep it, okay, keep it, because it is helping you, um, and also the star card is about rebirth as well, which I think is amazing, which basically means that your life is going to change, like love is going to be in your life for the long term, money is going to grow and give you more stability and flexibility, so that you can do what you want with it, right, you can choose to keep it, invest it, save it, splurge, like, you can do what you want with it, and that creates change, right, that literally changes your life, like, you can be doing what you want with your time and your energy, and it will give you so much more peace and joy and stability, right, so this is your reading, um, the affirmation for this reading is, my life is about to change, so comment it down below, um, especially, you know, if you claim it or it resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, all the information on personal uh, readings, on um, rituals as well, there's, you know, love rituals as well, um, all listed down below, and there's also the intention items, and I also have TikTok and Instagram, if anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so, the links are down below, TikTok is Moonlight Guidance, Instagram is Moonlight.Guidance, 
official links are down below and I will see you all very very soon but wow what a beautiful reading as the sun is coming out and showing that this change is going to happen bye